China is watching what's going on right now as a measure of our will to resist because they're coming to get you. They said they're coming to get you. And if we're not, if we don't have a spine, they will get us. So stand your ground. Support these brave, brave guys. Dig deep. Now, I'm just the warm-up act. <laughs> the main act's to follow. The main act is the only politician in this country leading a national party that's been brave enough to stand up for you and to stand up for these guys. That man, you know, is Maxime Bernier heading the People's Party of Canada. A brave man, a man who should have been Prime Minister now. They put a man who should be Prime Minister in jail for talking to five people. Is that right? What a man, what a brave man. And it's my honor to introduce him as the next Prime Minister of Canada, Max Bernier. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Freedom, freedom fighters, you can be proud of what you're doing. And yes, we are proud Canadians today because we know that we are winning that battle to regain our freedoms. Yes! And I want to, I want to thank also, I want to thank our truckers and Canadians all across the country. You are giving us hope, hope that that will end soon. Thank you. Thank you. And now, and now you are here today like me because you know that our freedoms are under attack, still under attack by these establishment politicians that did nothing the last two years, nothing to fight for civilization, to fight for our freedoms, to fight for our rights. But now the tide is turning and that's the time and that's why you are happy and smiling because we know we are winning that battle, that battle for freedoms. And as you may know, last summer I was in Manitoba. I've been handcuffed, put in jail for a known crime wow. after a political gathering in a park. That's not our country. No. That's not our country and that's why you can call me Mad Max because I'm not happy about what they're doing to us right now. And we know, we know that that virus is not that dangerous for younger, pe younger people that didn't have any comorbidities like Dr. Roger told us. What we must do, we must be super spreaders of the truth. Because the truth will always win. We must spread the truth against COVID hysteria, the truth against the pseudo-science, the truth against these authoritarian politicians, the truth 
is our freedoms. Our freedoms and our rights must be protected and you are here today because of that. You want to regain your country. We will win that together. Is <laughs> 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 <laughs>